Hi everyone, so today I have this die and press kit called uh, Treat Box Snow Happy and uh, to share with you is something that they brought to HSN for the uh, July craft day. It is now available there. So this item was sent free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own. And any links in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you are purchased items through those links. Oh, this is such a sweet one just to start off with. How cute. Um, so it's called Snow Happy. It makes like a little snowman. Um, there's a little reindeer here, as you can see. But let's open this up so you can kind of have a better idea of what I'm talking about. But you probably saw the image there in the thumbnail and have a pretty good idea. I am so sorry. That is quite loud. There we go. So we have our dies, the extended uh, cutting folder for your marquee. If you don't have a marquee, you can definitely run these dies through any machine that you have that cuts thin metal dies. Um, they're all interchangeable as long as they fit, right? We have our stamps, but let's check this out. Oh, there's quite a bit of instruction. Three sheets. Snow Happy Template Kit. Now it does say Template Kit. They do have some that I believe are actual template and not dies, but you'll see them when I get to them. Um, but it does say template, and but it is a die. <laughs> Just to repeat that. Uh, let me see where we're at. Snowman, one, two, three, four. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I just want to see make some sense of these guys. So. Um, right here they're showing you how to do the reindeer and basically it's going to be like a little reindeer head, a little snowman attached to like a box in the front. So I'm um, trying to get to the end. It looks like what they're doing is putting the instruction for one on one side and then if you flip it over it's the instruction for the other. Hopefully you see that and then it meets up. Well, yeah, kind of. So there's the final little project of that guy, the little reindeer, so cute. And then the snowman. So very similar, obviously the basic construction that you're just decorating in different ways. So um, super, super adorable. I don't think it's going to take too long to create either one. Um, that's really hard to choose for today. Uh, they're both so cute. Oh my goodness. Let's do the reindeer. His, yeah, okay, let's do that. And then we have all these uh, stamps, so reindeer poop, snowman poop. How cute is that? Because you guys know there's like little trail mixes or like kind of like snack mixes people make. So you can definitely do that and pop it in there in a little like cellophane bag or however, a uh, food safe bag. Have a cozy holiday, maybe just some treats or cookies, you know, a cupcake. It depends on how big these are. You are a deer to me, snow happy, we're friends, Merry Christmas, reindeer kisses. So Sorry, you know, it took one second for me to get tongue tied. This one says, Snowmen are chilly, snowmen are cute. It sure is silly when they leave behind, you know, whatever you have on there. I heard you've been naughty, so here's the scoop. All you get is reindeer poop, right? Uh, Santa's been here. How do I know? Look what I found outside in the snow. <laughs> Those are so cute. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm just going to grab some paper. I'll quickly peruse this one time before I go to grab what I need. For the reindeer, it's showing the dark accents for the actual box, and then maybe you want to do the lighter accent because it's going to going to like be part of his little face. So, just the lighter piece like that. So I'll grab some brown paper, some tan colored paper, some darker, probably brown for his little uh, antlers. You can do black or whatever as you like. Um, you know, his little hooves there. And I think it involves some stamping and maybe some accent pieces of like white paper, his little accents to his ears too. So I will so I be right back. Some scraps. I probably won't use this one. It was not big enough. Um, but okay. So this is a full sheet of just some really nice white brown paper. I always like for this kind of thing a heavy white paper. This one's probably 80 pound, 85. It's not the heaviest paper, but it's really nice. So I grab that. Um, we're going to need that for this piece. Um, and you know, you can make your box base an accent color if you want, but generally they are showing you to just use that. And then the box front is this piece here. So that's from my main kind of brown color. I'll get those guys. The back is going to be this one here. And that just means that's where his little face is going to be built up on, right? So that's going to be on that. From the kind of medium color brown, we're also going to, or at least I am, his little antler area because that just coordinates nicely with what's supposed to be like his little, I was going to say fur color, pelt, <laughs> pelt something else, it? I don't know. Okay, there we go. So anyway, I'll cut that from there. I'll make that work. Um, you know, while we're cutting, why not? So from the dark brown that I have here, I'm also going to go ahead and get his antlers. 
so cute. Um, you have accent pieces here for his uh, little ears and then his little muzzle. So let's go ahead and wait on those because they're a little smaller and then we can do the muzzle at the same time. And he also has um, a little belly accent. So again, I'm just trying to cut everything right now. And that could be the same color as like the accent from his little face. And then his little hooves, which I will cut out of this black that I have here, just a scrap of black, okay? That's pretty much everything other than his little face accents. So I will be right back. So there are my pieces again. I get as many as I can cut at once. And it just makes it really quick. I mean, this just has a few base pieces. Really cute, and I believe the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and put this on, but let's just see. Of course you can do however you like. And let's just go with the regular tip glue. Sorry, excuse me. Um, so yeah, so you just need glue to be like right in here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just put it on this part of the little head there, that top part, although they are showing glue up in the antler area. You're not gonna, it's not gonna stick to anything, so let's just put it here. Clearly you don't need anything that high up. Okay. Now if you wanna double this up, you can definitely put another piece in the back, right? And so that's that part. And now they're showing to go ahead and put the rest of his face together, which I was going to wait on as far as our die cutting. But let me just go ahead and since I have these other pieces already in front of me waiting to go, I will put together some of these other uh, bits here. Okay, so we have this accent antlers. So I'm just gonna take a little glue and put it right up here. Right up to there. How cute is that? And then his little ears, again, we have the accent piece for his ears, which we'll do in just a second. So let's go ahead and go with that. How cute. Already. Uh, I'm gonna go to step four, just because I already have these pieces here. And like I said, I just wanna go ahead and get these adhered, especially his little feet. So just right down here on this score line. There's a score line right there in that glue tab. And then, oh, how cute his little feet. They have him kind of up here. I'm just gonna put the glue down on here. That's the kind of thing I do. One of your smaller pieces. These are not very small though. They are a good size. Actually, I'll probably have to put a little more glue because it is a larger little footy. <laughs> there we go. And then this one here. I'm putting them right on the score line, guys. Oh my gosh, this is probably the front of the box, right? The paste that's out here. Cute, cute, cute. I am gonna do a couple things though real quick. Go ahead and score these guys. I'm trying to think if it comes this way, it's probably going this way. Uh, it's curved, scored forward. Um, if we have to score it back, I'll do that. It's just I'm looking at the box. If this is in the front, then that means this score line needs to go back, right, to glue down. And then this is that middle section, our whole, like, basically our box. Okay, I'm sorry, I just took a quick break so I could hear my TV for some reason. <laughs> no, just turned up. I don't know if you're all interested in hearing about lowering your A1C, but anyway, <laughs> commercial came on and I was like, that is very loud. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and score my lines uh, facing in. Right, so this is the rough side, this is the nice side. And just because I'm pretty sure glue tabs like these are gonna go in. All right, so, now so we have our score lines. What we're gonna do is go ahead and glue these guys to the inside, right? The rough part of your box. So this is the nice side. It's gonna be glued to the rough cut side. And so is this one, so when you fold it up, this is all in here. And then we're gonna cover up that those tabs anyhow with this pretty little layer on the inside, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and glue them down because it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, so for right now, I'm just putting glue on the back of this. Oopsie. And again, I always just line it up, you know, give it a minute, check the other side and see what that's gonna look like when it's folded up. That looks really, really good. So I'll keep that there. 
And then I'll do this one too. And then we're going to go ahead and finish up the face. I just wanted to get these parts down um, since I already have them cut. We are going to, I believe, stamp the face, right? Yeah, so I don't want to get too bulky. Yeah, that looks perfect. Okay, I'm going to let that set up for a second. I'm going to get a stamp positioner. Um, possibly for the eyes because the eyes what I love that diamond press does is they're stuck together so you don't have to like do one and then do the other and maybe have them not line up which is not great but we have that guy and then we have this little muzzle and actually let me just get some white paper for the muzzle and I'm going to stamp it and then just die cut it and then the other part I'll use a stamp position just so that we make sure we're getting it where we want so for this one just got that, and then maybe some nice black ink, and then give yourself a spot to um, die cut. Look at that. So cute. And I'll go ahead and set this up on a stamp positioner, and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I have this little guy in here. And yes, Diamond Press has come out with their own stamp positioner. Unfortunately, I have not opened it yet for reviews to show it to you guys yet, so I'm not going to... Um, open it up on this video but uh, keep an eye out and I will definitely run it through its paces of course and uh, we'll check that out later but for right now we have the little eyeballs I'm looking you know the little it has like little dots like so you can see the white or the cream color through there so just kind of pay attention to that and you know I'm just kind of eyeballing where this might be and I'm just centering it if you like my positioning I pretty much centered it at the very bottom of the brown line do you see that um you know placed it right along there and then left and right hopefully pretty center there and let me pick this up and we'll give it a quick stamping and to be honest I bet you I could have just done this without a positioner um, this is pretty easy but there we go a little push a little push again these are acrylic stamps you don't want to squeeze them too hard they're a softer material and look at that oh my goodness okay so we have that and then I'm just going to cut the little muzzle out, so when we come back, we're just putting it together in its shape, right? So this little guy, oh my gosh, how easy is that? Put a little piece of tape and run that through, and I'll be right back. So you put everything away there, and, you know, if you're wanting to do some stamping, you can definitely do that, you know, on the back here, or, you know, stamp the reindeer poop thing, the snowman poop. I think, honestly, to t uh, stamp that on a tag and have a little tag just kind of in there, or, you know, wherever it is that you want to place it. Really cute. Um, again, lots of options there. Unfortunately, since it's July, I don't have Christmas candies to share with you guys to pop in there, but uh, maybe we'll find something. So let's just stick down this little muzzle here oh my gosh look at that I mean as soon as you pop that on there super cute makes a huge difference um, and then you know again you can follow along with these snowman bits and here it is you know talking about if you wanted to stamp um, I mean you can stamp that before if that scares you you could have stamped that already um, I don't know that I'm gonna stamp anything let's let's just do something like just Merry Christmas or Oh, Merry Christmas, Reindeer Kisses. That's so cute. But uh, let's just go with Reindeer Kisses. Just something. I'm just going to stamp it freehand. And if for whatever reason it doesn't come out looking too great, I will um, cover it. <laughs> so you have this piece that you can definitely just do your own thing, right? Again, uh, Reindeer Kisses. Should we do it in like a red? I think that'd be cute. Okay, I have like this really juicy red here. And again, I'm just going to go for it. But... You might want to stamp position this because you might want to try it to hit it a couple times there. Uh, I'm just going to say reindeer kisses right there. And just making sure it makes contact with everything. Just not pushing too hard. I'm just making sure I, I'm touching every area there. Look at that. So cute. Okay. So a little stamping. And uh, we're just going to glue it together, basically, guys. So at this point, we're just going to pop this up. And that would be step seven. So however you like to do that. I always put glue on the very edge because that's where it's going to make the most, you know, possibly you can see that it's not glued if it's not glued. So I'm just holding it there for a bit. And then this one, too. 
Oopsie. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. I always work on things in the air for whatever reason, but you know, gravity is your friend and so is your uh, tabletop, your surface. Now, I am uh, putting that on the inside. You can also wrap it around the back, I suppose. If you want a more finished look, you know, with these little brown tabs. Um, if you had wrapped it around the back, what I would do is cut another one of the body, stamp on that, do your whole thing, and then just glue it to the back, but cut off the glue tab at the bottom, right? You wouldn't need that extra glue tab. Just um, have this piece and just put it on the back. Nestle these glue tabs in between them. For now, I'm just going to do that. Just giving it a second. And then, of course, on this side, we also want it to set up. So put a little glue here, a little glue there. Kind of give it a judge so the glue can spread a little bit. I'm going to hold it up just like this for a second, and then I'm going to turn it over. So I still have those guys pretty set up now, and I'll turn this over. And I'm just going to put my hand in here, making sure they're lined up nicely. Yeah, looks good. And I'm just putting my fingers in there to hold it down. Okay, I'll be right back. Guys. Look at that little box, and I'll give you a quick measurement before we finish up. You can add a scarf also, which I will definitely do. Um, but it is two and a half inches wide, and from his little head down, I'm just kind of eyeballing that. It's about four and a quarter, but the height of the box itself, what it can hold, is like two and a half. Of course, that's what's in here. But you can also put like a whole little bag of treat, you know, so your bag can be a little bit higher, obviously. Um, I think I have some lint candy or something to pop in there <laughs> that might help us out. So just to reinforce our base, we're going to put this in here. But yeah, next time I do it, I will definitely cut um, a second of this backer. And then I put the glue tabs back here. But honestly, it kind of gives it an accent in his little face. So, But there we go. That fits in there perfectly. Good planning there. Okay, so that's the reinforcement down at the bottom. And then, uh, like I said, they said you can cut a little scarf. So basically, if you're making a scarf, it's these pieces here. It's all the scarfy pieces. Let me replace these other guys. I'll be right back. I just want to replace these other pieces so I know where to put them back. So it'd be this piece, and this piece, and this piece. And, you know, red is classic, and I stamp with red, so I'll probably do some red, but um, hopefully you can see, like, the one in the back, they just made it, like, a darker color, because it's in the back, but I think I'm going to cut mine in darker color, so um, the longer one, the longest one, and then the longer bit, I'm going to cut out of, like, a red, and this one I'll cut out of, like, a deeper red, and I'll so right I know the red, my accent red is barely darker than this <laughs> brighter red, but that's okay, so we have those pieces, and... Here's a quick reference, they'll show you to go ahead and just put that, this one across. And I think what we're going to do is maybe give the bottom two a little zhuzh so they look like they're kind of more dimensional. So basically it's going to run right across here. How cute is that? I love that it has the roundness on the edge to make it like a little, a bulky scarf. And then these two guys, what I'm going to do is before I stick them down, this one has kind of like a rounded top, and then this is more flat, so the rounded top is supposed to go up towards the top. And what I'm going to do is just kind of give it a zhuzh, so it's kind of out like that. And then let's see about this guy. This guy, I guess it doesn't matter whichever side or piece you want, but it's more like this. I'm going to also zhuzh that out a little bit. And let's say it's like there. Cute. So I'm only going to glue this bit. You can basically place this anywhere you'd like. I'm just going to put it off to the side a little bit. And then again, that rounded area. Let's go ahead and just put some glue on there. And let that be like this. Oh my gosh, how cute. I'm going to hold that down for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I mean, look how cute. I love the little dimension on that. I love the way they just did that little rounding. It really fleshes it out. Super cute. Um, I grabbed some candies on my way over here, as many as I can hold. So let's see. Uh, there's like six, maybe seven, eight. I mean, that is so cute and it's very full. Oh my goodness. Um, 
adorable again a little plastic baggie of your reindeer poop your snowman I mean, just poop adorable and, and just for a job well done I'll go ahead and have one of these I guess all right guys thanks for watching thank you so much uh, dime press for Sandy's items for review oh my gosh mm. okay I'll have uh, images coming up I'll have the links in the description box and I will see you all at the next one bye now